So I was just having a chat with the amazing Sam Lindley, who's a business coach and runs a mastermind and is on our mastermind. And we're both having almost like a loose businesswoman conversation about life and things. I was sharing with her that um, I've had, I've had, we've all had shock, <clears throat> but we, Thomas and I had another shock on top of shock um, last week. So I shared what Sam just called my resilience tool, which I loved. So I'm going to share that with you. And then Sam just shared with me what she's observed about two different types of business owners. So I said to Sam, why don't we just record this and put this out here? So it's a bit of chat between two girlies um, talking very openly with each other. And hopefully this might help somebody else who hears it. So, so I'm winding back a conversation that Sam and I have had. So Sam's already heard me say this, but I want to say this again before everybody's hearing this. So I was telling Sam about the fact that Thomas and I just had another shock on Friday on top of the shock that we're all having. And I said to her, you know, I'm okay. And the reason I'm okay is um, I'd written in my book that I had worked out a formula that's my personal formula. I don't know whether this is um, typical of humans. Only psychologists would be able to tell me that. But this is my four-step sort of formula that I've noticed when I have shock. The first one is day one, bang, it's like I've been stabbed, shot in the stomach, comes out of the blue, and it's almost like you just have to keep breathing that, that day. I just keep breathing because I just am in shock. And sometimes we go into fight or flight mode at that time, which is useful. Um, but I sort of, the metaphor I would use is if I had just been walking along the road and shot in the stomach, I wouldn't try to straight away find a solution to all the bigger problems in my life. I would allow somebody to pick me up, love me, put me into an ambulance, take me to hospital and allow me some recovery time. That's day one for me. Day two is serious grief. It's bitterness, depending on what's happened, bitterness, anger, fear, sadness. It's the, the raw emotions. Um, oh, I think my internet's just said it's unstable. Hope it's all right now. So the day two is those raw emotions of bitterness, fear, anger, sadness, loss. All the emotion comes out, crying. So Saturday I was crying a lot, crying, crying, crying. And I actually have learned to accept it because of the faith that I have in my understanding, my emotional process, how I process things. That all came out on day, day two. Day three, oh crumbs, my fighting spirit comes back. That sort of, well, I'm gonna find a solution. And usually I do. I usually find a way to adjust my life around the issue that's just happened in front of me and put a strategy in place. And then day four, I start to feel happy. It's quite weird because I think happiness returns when we empower ourselves by solutions. So that's my four step days that I go through. So then Sam said, talk to me about, and I want to pass over to Sam. Sam talked to me about the two different types of business owners that we are potentially experiencing ourselves and observing. Well, first of all, going back to your four day process, I, I said to you, I think that is amazing that you have that and what a great resilience tool because if on day one, and Penny said, yes, I do recognize on day one that by day four, I'm gonna be out of this. That is, it doesn't stop you going through that grief process and anger process and you know, emotional process, but at least at the back of your mind, you know that in day four, you're gonna have found a solution, you'll be back on track and you'll be happy. Yeah. Wow, what a great resilience tool. Which yet yeah, led me to say that I think at the moment what I'm experiencing is there are two types of business owner. One business owner who can do what you do on day three, but immediately in shock that says, right, okay, this is not life as we know it. I've got to change. I've got to adapt. I've got to be flexible and I'm up for the challenge and this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be strategic. I'm going to be dynamic. I'm going to be flexible. And they put it all into process straight away. Yeah. Um, and they're obviously the ones that are going to survive this and they're going to be the, the strongest. And then you've got the ones that actually can't get through that day one process that you have. They can't get through the shock and the emotion in day two yeah. that you experience. And they live in that and they indulge in that. They almost welcome that and thrive on that. But they never get to that day three where they find a solution. And certainly don't get to day four where they feel happy that they've got a solution. Yeah. So that's what I'm experiencing at the moment. Yeah, I love that. 
and I think I can I think that really helps me to think about how to help my clients actually you saying that because you know when, when we first started talking I said to you, you know, I've had 11 periods of trauma over the last 10 months 10 years things the shocks the knock on the doors the phone calls you're not expecting the shock thing that we talked about so it does make me more resilient and somebody said to me Penny um, a guy called James Knight the guy who created IMA and the identify modify adapt tool we use I was on the phone to him the other day and he said did you know I wish I could put on his lovely droll American accent but he said Penny did you know that the barrier reef has got two aspects to it the bit that's been beaten up by the storms of the sea is strong the bit that's been protected can be damaged by fingertips. This is the time, I think, for us to say, I just have to be stronger and empower myself through this. Now, I, I think I've always been mentally strong. I wasn't mentally fit. That There are two different aspects to that, aren't there? And I yeah. think learning how to be mentally fit and how to self-care and look after your mental fitness is really important. Um, and I think to know when to have a sharp word with yourself as well and say, come on, snap out of this. You know, you've had too many days in your phases. If we keep going back to your yeah. model, you know, we've got to snap out of it. You've got to be resilient. You've got to fight your way through this. Yeah. You need yeah. to have that word with yourself and be able to self motivate yourself, yeah. self lead. Not yeah, yourself. exactly. Yeah, so I'm going to put this into LinkedIn. I'm going to put this into Facebook. So is Sam into our groups. Let's all chat about this and let's all talk about whether we want to be Sam's business owner that says, I, let's, let's sort this out by day two, day three. Um, let's talk about if this is the first time you've ever had shock. You know, I'm not making any judgment on anyone because after, with 11 shocks, I am bound to be that barrier reef that's got that that tough um, ability to, to manage stuff. And I think the last thing we want to do is sit in judgment of anyone. But if you are, yeah, I would like to finish. I think you, I'd love you to finish the last word on this as well. If you are a business owner, us business owners, we've got to stick together and respect one another. I was really proud of the fact that some of the masterminds I spoke to said that we are a priority supplier. And that made me very proud and quite tearful when I was told that. I think you need to think about that in your life and think about the ecosystem of small businesses and think about not hurting those that maybe you don't need to hurt. Um, some of us have to go into our reserve caches. Sometimes it's brutal and we have to look at our own personal finances to support our business. So, Let's try and keep the small businesses of this country as strong as we can. And I'm going to desperately not be one of the ones that brings down a small business. Any thoughts 100%. on that? Yeah, I think that um, for me right now is when our support network is our most critical network, I think. And it's time, if you haven't got one at the moment, we are all in it together. So it's a perfect opportunity to build that support network. SMEs stick together. We're known for our grit and our determination, and we're all here for each other. And you've only got to think about just today. There's already, I think, in like 10 hours, nearly 200,000 people that have signed up to this NHS volunteer network. That just shows what a great, great yeah. country we have. And small business owners will be doing exactly that. And you can see it pop up everywhere. All these groups yeah. will support each other. So get your support network. Don't be alone in this because there's really no need to be. Yeah. And live in love, not fear. Access love, not fear. So Sam, I love that. I'm going to stop recording, but stay online with me. But I'm just going to stop recording that because I'm really excited.